guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the um let's build series of course and i think this is called let's build a renovated farmhouse on a hill and yeah very happy to see you all returning to the channel hopefully you are doing good i'm definitely having a a good day i mean i've having i'm gonna have a good week because it's finally my vacation time. I have two weeks off and be prepared for a little bit more videos on the channel. I'm very excited to just chill and play The Sims because that's actually the only thing that's on my schedule this week. Um, because yeah, we're not going on vacation because of the pandemic. I just don't see the point on going anywhere. So yay, we're gonna do lots and lots of building on the channel. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, anyways, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully um, you're gonna have fun today. <laughs> I definitely am. I have been looking at the lot a little bit um, before I started this episode just to see what we're gonna do today and where we were gonna focus on so i was looking at the front i really do like how this looks um there was a comment from christian that i should probably reduce the plots that we have right here from three rows to two so i definitely want to see the visual <laughs> how that looks so let me just try that so we're gonna delete the middle ones i think oh my gosh and then i'm gonna drag them in uh, probably like one or half half a tile um and see where these land um okay let me put my grid on oh i went too low <laughs> so the grid takes them here um i feel that there is a little bit too much gap like right in the middle so if we're gonna do this um i think i would like them like here ish and have like more gap here on the side of the plots yes i am overthinking this but that's fine that is what i do <laughs> so let's see yeah so i i yeah I actually do like the look of this. This looks really nice. I like that you can see a little bit of dirt on the sides. Oh my gosh, what, what a messy paint job did I do? So yeah, we're probably gonna do two for now. And let me know in the comments how you think this looks. Um, I'm not mad about it. Oh, I can... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Why didn't I just move them like this? Um, oh, because then we have a little bit too much space right there. So probably do how much space did i have here okay i, I placed them in the center uh, yeah we're gonna do it like this over here yeah so i actually don't mind how this looks so we, yeah we could definitely do like um uh, four what is this eight sixteen in the front um and then probably like a few here as well um maybe even make this 16 so 16 and 16 32 plots actually feels as a decent amount 32 so yeah probably gonna do that so i like that idea a lot so we're implementing it as i uh, as you can see he also suggested some beehives which i totally agree we need to do i'm gonna grab a beehive oh that's not what i wanted so beehive Okay, it's not that's not the way that you look for a beehive, apparently. Um, let's do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Just click on the little planter here and go through the catalog. I do have my debug on, so you will see lots and lots of items. Um, you know, which is, is a little bit annoying. Let's um unfilter the debug and unfilter the live edit just for now. And let me grab our beehive. So you said doing a beehive in like a row. I think that would be more functional to do in where we have our greenhouse. So I'm going to plop one here so that I don't forget to 
add a greenhouse later with a beehive because what I was thinking is I would like our greenhouse to come like right around here-ish so that we don't obstruct the view of this ugly shed because it's gonna be visually not pleasing to have like a building here and then a building here. It's just not good. I, I really hate that they put this thing here. It's, it's ugly. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe some people really like this thing, but I don't like it because it's messing up my modern vibe home. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna do a greenhouse here. Um, probably on a, uh, on a level, a uh, same level as this here. So we're probably gonna elevate it a little bit. So let me grab, you know what? Let me grab a, a square. Um, and let's just see where we're roughly gonna place our little greenhouse. So roughly about here uh, ish. And then I want like a walkway to here, but on the same height as here. I have a vision. I don't know if the vision is gonna look good, but I have a vision and um, I want the greenhouse to be a little bit higher. So probably here. Um, and then let's see, this is, uh, what kind of size are we gonna work with? Let me grab, let me grab some planters, probably gonna work with planters in here. Um, yeah, so not smaller as this width. And I think also not smaller as, uh, the length because I do want, you know, some items in here actually feels kind of cramped. Um, so we're probably gonna do that. Where's my beehive over here? And then we're probably gonna have like a row of beehives, like maybe one, two, three of them here. And then a flower arranging table, probably somewhere here ish. Um, I think I think these are functional when you place them like that. Um, I think you can still use them. I am gonna play test, of course. I always play test, um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna do like greenhouse over here. It's a little bit off center though, so let me see. Um, maybe one over there. Um, there. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I pressed my shader button. And yes, I do play with shaders for the people who are interesting. Uh, interested, I have the Urban Sims Leo shaders on right now. Those are my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, check out her. Um, not her channel. Well, yeah, her channel. You should check, definitely check out her channel. But check out her website because I've got them from there. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're probably gonna do like greenhouse over here and then animal sheds here. So for the animal sheds, we are gonna probably build custom animal sheds because I found this tutorial on Twitter. I think it's from Seti Sims. I'm not sure. I will link the tutorial in the description, but she made custom sheds by downscaling the shed, hiding the shed in an object and then uh, building something around it. And, you know, with a little trick with basements and such, you can add in stuff without your cow um, clipping in anything. So there will be no routing issue. So I was thinking on doing that. So we do need a little bit of tool to manage that. But let me know in the comment section below if we want to use tool for our shed so that we don't have these ugly sheds here on the lot because I do hate I do hate the sheds. I not I'm not gonna lie. They they are very very ugly and I don't want to look at them. Um so what are we how are we gonna do this? So I'm okay I think I know what I want. So let's see. So we're probably gonna let me move all this stuff in here to there. I want not a square shape like I have right now, but let's do this. I have like a little bump here and then let's uh, widen the back section and maybe do something like this. And a little bit smaller. We don't want to use too much space because it just needs to be a cute little greenhouse. 
um yeah okay this already opens up way more planters slots for us which is good so you know probably like six of them like that yeah and then we can have like our our, our little thingy over here yeah we could we could do that and then i want uh to copy this and then do this so this would be our uh greenhouse so a little bit different uh, than like a normal greenhouse would be. Probably um, lower the pitch a tiny bit. Although, should we lower the pitch? Yeah, we're gonna lower the pitch. And then we're gonna have not the um, like traditional, an entire glass roof. We're actually gonna section it with little trims. And we're gonna do it like this. Take this in, take this section in. Uh, no, that's too much, Mona. And then we're gonna grab some, yeah, like that. That's, that is what I, that is what I wanted. So we are gonna take in the eaves so that it's like flush with the wall. And then we're gonna take in this eve as well. Um, maybe even, no, I, I don't know. We're gonna keep it like that. So probably gonna do that. And then for this guy, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Um, take in the eve and then take in the eve over here. Uh, copy it, of course. And then we're gonna drag it out. Take in eaves again and then give it a glass roof. So something like that. And then we can even make this thatched. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, maybe not thatched, maybe metal. I'm trying to find a, um, how do you call it? I'm trying to uh, find a way to implement metal just because I'm obsessed with like tin roofs lately. I've been loving how a tin roof looks on a house. I don't know why, but it's a little bit of an obsession lately. <laughs> so I'm trying to implement them in my builds, but they don't always work out. But yeah, maybe something like that would look awesome. And then we're, of course, we're gonna grab these windows. These are the best windows uh, for greenhouses, definitely. So we could do like one of these like an open and a closed one. Uh, we also have these guys, although I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's definitely different, definitely different. Um, oops, oh my gosh, I'm flying away. Um, one there and then like a closed one there. Maybe even flip this to the other side. So, you know, that is our little greenhouse. And then we, we probably need like a door. So for the greenhouse door, should we do like full gloss like we have on the house? Ooh, I think I like it, yeah. And then we're gonna grab these guys again. Um, flip this one around here. And then maybe this one there. Then have maybe two closed ones on the side. And this could be our little greenhouse. Again, this greenhouse can move from place. This is not set, but this is the style that I was uh, thinking on going for. I think it looks really cute, definitely. And then um, we're probably, or not probably, we are gonna raise our, um, what do you call this again, our terrain. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna raise the terrain and probably oh so you can already see this needs to be a little bit higher like that yeah so we're gonna raise this to like here maybe make the tool a bit softer it's a bit too harsh um you know what no let me redo that so this side Maybe on stilts or something. Um, I'd like a little, little bit of foundation peeping through there. And then... Um, 
Let's see. Let me let me make this smaller and do this. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. Have it sloped down here, um, and then here. This could also be like that. And then we can landscape this in a bit. Um, yeah, something like that. I do want this to be like on the same height walkable. Um, definitely. And then for foundation, we could do like stilted foundation. Place it like that so it's on stilts. Or we can do like just a robust. Oh, this is a nice foundation. Ooh, why have I never used that? That actually looks really good. I like that foundation a lot. Um, that's a nice one. I, I think I even want to expose it here a little bit more. Like that. So, you know, this could be this could be a straight edge. Um, what have we what have we done here? Oh, we, we have uh like a platform we could make this into a platform that's definitely something that we can we that we can do um let's see no no we're gonna keep it like this for now no, we're gonna keep it like that and then but i do really like this is such a cute little greenhouse and then for um uh, Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that color. I love it. I love that it's a little bit darker. Um, and, you know, it looks very industrial. Yeah, I think this fits in perfectly with what we're going for. Definitely. So for this over here, I'm probably gonna do like a stone or something. Probably. Like that. And then... or. I mean, this ends like here-ish. Should we do... Mm, let me think. <laughs> so we have like our little edge here. Maybe have like some sort of a planter over here. Um, like this. You know, just so that this looks like it's a little bit more cleaner, perhaps. And then here, I think I, we're just going to do like landscaping with some terrain paint. <laughs> yeah. So again, it's I said it's a the previous video. It's going to look ugly before it's going to look good. Keep that in mind. Um, we're going to change things. We're going to move things around. Um, you know, we're, we're going to... It's not set in stone what we're doing now. We're just brainstorming and trying things out. So I'm trying out, you know, a little bit of landscaping over here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this tree... I love this tree, but I think if I'm gonna place it here, um, it's gonna be, oh, I mean, it's gonna hide this ugly shed, though, <laughs> which is actually something that I wanted to hide. Um, we could do like this tree over here, have it like a little bit in front of the greenhouse and then we could do like a little bit of a playground over here you know just a tiny bit um have like a jungle gym come uh, over here wait a minute let me let me grab the jungle gym <laughs> um of course this one i mean oh with the vines this is so good we could do, could do like this you know like, like the jungle gym over here we have like a tree there and, you know, this could be like the kids play area. And then we could do like a step down over here. So let me grab you. I mean, look at that. That actually fits perfect. It does. And then we could do like a, a little bit of a pathway going here. Um, and then have like lots of flowers and such. Um, don't know if we need to extend like the tiling till there or if this is maybe, maybe do like something like this. 
yeah we could do something like this I have a step down and then we can we can landscape this in like with rocks and you know make it look pretty because i do know i, I do know it's not pretty right now um but we can make it look really pretty and a little bit ma you know a little bit magical for the kids uh, are you floating no you're not floating uh this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so let me grab some flowers and are we using red in the front? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're gonna do red at the back as well. Um, but yeah, we can like work this in, make it look cute. Um, no, I want you there. I want you there. And then we're gonna grab some rocks. Maybe, maybe go into uh life edit and debug and see if we can find some really nice looking rocks uh ooh, oh this is a nice one you do like one of those over there oh that's a bit big but oh yeah it's kind of floating oh if we can we can place it here um i mean we can also place it here um let me see right there then do shifty uh, yeah shifty click on it so that you have it uh, selected then elevate and then do like minus one and see you know see where it where it lands and it actually lands perfectly then click it again so that you unselect it and then do shift t again and yeah we have we have a rock <laughs> which is so nice so yeah we have our rock over here uh maybe some little bit of uh, lavender we can do some lavender what is this guy mm. yeah that actually looks cute over there i love this plant <laughs> i do um so we can have some white lavender there that is actually a thing i actually bought white lavender uh, we can do that one over here um i'm not keen on using these guys so probably gonna skip those um what else do we have maybe go into flowers and see if there's like something nice um we could do one of these again although maybe that's like a bit more i don't know no i think it would look really cute uh maybe here on the back yeah on the back right here that would be really cute and then probably um uh, what is this <laughs> uh nope ah this guy this this one always works uh place it there so yeah i i like this idea and then our little jungle gym and then probably like stepping stones around here so let me go into the stone category and you know place some stepping stones so i have never used these ones <laughs> because i just didn't know that they existed but then i um i saw the sim supply because i've been um re-watching or actually catching up on his series and he i think it was these stepping stones that he was using i don't i'm not sure um but i was like wait are there are there stepping stones <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. So yeah, I'm I'm using some stepping stones, just a few of them, and making like some sort of a a pathway leading up to this little shed. So we're gonna imagine that the shed is uh, a part of this lot, even though it's like the ugliest shed in the world. Uh, it's fine. Anyway, so then we're gonna do like a little bit of dirt under here. And then do this. Um, maybe do like a little bit of a lighter stripe underneath there. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, you know let's just do this. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it. And now we have our little, you know, a little bit of a playground over here. I think it looks really cute. I, I I actually like how this is turning out. So for here, this greenhouse, we're gonna, pro you know, should we use this? 
Yeah, we're gonna do a step down. I mean, why not? We're gonna, we're gonna do a step down in the greenhouse. <laughs> I think that's fun. So this is our little greenhouse. Um, should we rotate these though? No, no, it's better this way. Um, oh, yeah, so sorry for the frame rate dropping. Apparently I was in game recording. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Now this is, I mean, this is a bit weird, but we can get some rocks and make it look a bit better. So let me grab rock. And then we have these guys over here. Those are a little bit curved. Um, they are a tad too big right now, but we can definitely push these or make them smaller and then push them in the ground with our tool. So I don't know how this is gonna look. But we're just gonna test it out, okay? If it's not nice, we're gonna uh, we're gonna remove them. So I'm gonna toggle my tool again. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna elevate it. I'm gonna do minus one to see just where we're gonna be. And mm, I don't like it. You know what? Let me let me get rid of. Oh, wait a minute. I need to. Dude, let me get rid of that one. Maybe not downscale it, but keep the original uh, size and see how that looks. So let me select that, uh, elevate, minus one, uh, elevate, minus 0.5. No, that's it's not working. <laughs> okay, I mean we tried. We definitely tried. I still want. I, was, I mean, I think it's it can work. It can work. Oh my gosh, what is this? That's like too big. Um, on this is that the same one, but then in a darker color. Oh, I actually like this color a lot. But again, oh, that's actually going in better. Okay, okay, maybe this one is gonna work better. Okay, let me toggle this again. Elevate, minus one. Ooh, I like that. I do, I like this, this is nice. So let me unclick that. And now it actually looks like we have, you know, some kind of a rock over here. Maybe we should do, um, some greenery in there um what do we have <laughs> what do we have that we can place here so that it does look a little bit more natural so we could do like this maybe not that color uh yeah do like that like a little bit of a plant over here and then here we can do like something like this maybe maybe downscale it and have like a little bit of green and then grab another one and have it come here then toggle this on again and then do elevate minus zero eight maybe okay that was too much so we're gonna elevate it 0 0.3 again um, and yeah that's actually better let me unselect it. Let me unselect that one and then toggle this out again. And now we have like a nice little rock trim there. I actually like that. Um, it's definitely not perfect. We definitely need to perfect that a bit more. So, you know, should we put rocks on? Oh my gosh, what's that? <laughs> should we do like a little bit of a rock on top or something? Like make some sort of a border. Um, maybe grab some, some plants, place them in. Um, you know, do something like that maybe. And then, uh, ooh, these are nice. Downscale them, you know, have like a little bit of green over there. And yeah, you know, something like that. I don't know if this is like too messy. 
Um, but let me know in the comments. I, I think it looks really nice. Uh, but you know, that's, that's just me. But I like this. I like this a lot. We have now our playground over here. We're gonna do chicken coop here. This is all gonna be chicken and um, plots of land. And then our... Um, what are these again? <laughs> <laughs> our animal sheds over here so we have enough space we definitely have enough space but i think this looks really cute i'm happy with where um where we're going over here so for here let me first off let me see i want so this is kind of rock over there and then probably gonna do like a lighter trim here this could be darker, I think. Let me see what kind of wall color we could do there. Maybe just a nice light, like render, like that. Yeah, that's actually good. And then grab this trim over here. So that is looking really nice. So for the pot, um, what are we using here? Oh, I actually haven't done anything there. So we could do like a nice wooden deck over here. Um, so do like wood, maybe not that wood. Maybe we should use a little bit of modern looking wood, you know, on the outside. So maybe like a wooden deck there. And this is going to be like a nice little seating area. Um, I am going to make this a wooden trim as well. Okay, so that could be like wood. Here I would like some modern kind of like stone or something. Do we have like a modern stone? Let me see. Um, that's like concrete, so that is not what I'm looking for. That's like modern. Yeah, we could do like modern, like a modern white stone over here and over here. And then here, probably do the same, same stone over there. See, and you can see the, the water disappeared again, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to place it back. So yeah, we do something like that. And then here... Um, we're probably gonna do like stones here as well to, you know, border it off like we did here. Um, and then probably have this go here as well. Maybe take it a bit more in. Okay, so let me uh, first of all know. Yeah, select it, elevate it and do minus zero eight. And let's see where we land. On that, uh, maybe elevate it a little bit more. Minus zero one. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Let me unclick that. It needs to be a little bit lower. So let me select that again. Elevate. Minus zero one again. Um, even. Even. A bit more. Oh, no, Mona. Minus. I forgot the minus. So let's do that. Click on it and then deselect. Yeah, that's definitely nice. I like that. So let's do this again and then grab these guys again. Place them in there. You know, a little bit of greenery. It's always nice. And then this can go here. And then we're probably gonna do this edge as well. Um, up to there, probably. And then, you know, no. Maybe even have it come here. And then we can get rid of this over here. Uh, I think. Although, let me leave them for now. Maybe there will be like good shrubbery. Okay, so let me click minus one, click minus one, heighten it by two again, because I feel that it's a little bit too low. Um, you know what? No, I think that's actually fine. No, it needs to be a bit lower okay so do like minus zero one 
yeah okay and then this one can be minus zero two and then um click it yeah I like that i like that and then we probably need to fill this up a bit more i don't know if this is gonna move when i'm gonna use the terrain again so let me uh, no mona that's not what i wanted to do okay it actually stays in place that's awesome so now i can push this in like a little bit more level can you see that just a tiny bit more uh, and then this can be there again oops yeah okay that is actually nice i like that um so we have our green in here and let's grab i don't know maybe this guy over here um Yeah, something like that. So now we have like a nice little border. We're definitely gonna landscape this a little bit more. Um, probably do like this. Um, so this is flush with that. And then go here. And then go in or something something like that uh, is what we're gonna do so let me this is first of all not yeah so we have like a little plot of here maybe we should even move this over by one i mean there's like so much space here maybe we should move it there um and then yeah this, this is where we are gonna have our chicken coop um, which I still need to think about. <laughs> but the chicken coop looks really nice. This is a very... I mean, it's still very traditional looking. But it's a nice coop. We can work with this. I actually really like this blue color. That's so nice. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna do like a double coop. Over here. Um, probably have it like centered with this. And um i do want the stone wall behind it that is something that i do want um maybe even off of the side as well be like stone um and then we can do like a wooden one and connect it there although i feel i feel that this might be too big we don't need that much space for our chickens because um this one can move over a tiny bit um something like that is what we're gonna do for the chicken coop um feels really ugly and stupid what i'm doing right now this is definitely not nicely landscaped in no so maybe not maybe not do that uh no we're, we're definitely gonna think about the chicken coop and how we can implement like a nice little landscape and make that work better because i don't like a square fence that's definitely not what we're doing for this build uh but yeah i really do like this this is good i like it so um probably gonna grab a few more trees um to maybe fill up this section a little bit what kind of trees are we using oh oh this is nice uh maybe one like over here this is also a really nice tree it does feel a bit more mountainy so maybe i mean we, we are on a hill but we're also on the countryside so maybe we're not gonna do that um so maybe have like something like here oh we could make this like a walkthrough yeah we could make this a walkthrough uh, you know leave it like that have like a pot going through and then we could do like a little bit of a fire pit here yeah I like the idea of having a fire pit. Uh, definitely a little bit bougie. <laughs> so I love that. So yeah, maybe we do like a fire pit over here. Um, what are we using here? That's not it. But I think I want to use this terrain paint. 
over here. So I have like a nice circular fire pit. Um, this is actually a good size. So we're gonna walk through here and then the fire pit is gonna come here. So already a few issues as you can see. Um, we are here on a on the slope, so we're gonna lower that like a little bit. Uh, let me grab this guy. So we're gonna lower this slope so that it's not obstructing our fire pit over here. So yeah, probably do like a cute little fire pit here. This is a floating tree. <laughs> um, this is annoying. Let me unfloat this tree. So let me do minus uh, zero five. Uh, maybe elevate it by one. Yeah, so that's better. So let me unclick that. And now it's not a floating tree anymore. And then when I move it, it's still not a floating tree. So <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, I was thinking on doing like a nice good fire pit here. So let me do fire. Um, this one a little bit more of a modern look. I mean, I mean the the pit can even be smaller. I think I made it too large. Um, let me grab some nice seats over here. Let's go for these very nice modern looking ones. I'm gonna go for blue for now, just because I really like the color blue. But we can change the colors. It's uh, it's not set in stone. But I think I would like the fire pit come like here. So I'm going to change our terrain paint. Um, so let me do this. Then grab this again. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Um, and have it come like here. Yeah, I like that. And then we can do some bushes and lots of greenery surrounding it, which is really fun. Um, so we could, oh, can I, can I, can I do that? Yeah, do like something around there and then my paintbrush can be a little bit bigger and landscape this in. So this could be all greenery and should we keep it open? It's a nice view. Yeah, maybe we should just landscape it till there and then keep the rest open and do like lots of bushes and such around it. So let me do this like real quick. Um, let's see, what, what can we place around it? So definitely a little bit of grass would be nice. Um, ooh, this vern over here. What kind of landscaping are we using at the front? You know, grab a little bit of that. We need to we need to make it look unified. So we have this guy on the floor. So we're gonna place it there. Um, maybe have you come here. What else do we use? A little pop up purple over there, and not much. We're not using that much colors. So that's actually good. Um, so maybe have you come like here, maybe a pop of yellow, like right there, then have these guys come on the floor and um, we can add that in right here. That's definitely a little bit too tropical. Um, let me, let me filter debug and live edit again. I think I need, yeah, I need this guy. I definitely need this guy. So I'm gonna downscale it a little bit. And uh, place them like here. Yeah, that's actually good. And then have um, these ones over here. Probably gonna move you over. Oh. Mm, we need something tall, like right here. Maybe what kind of trees are we using? Um, maybe this guy. Or do we have like, like something a little bit bushier and taller, but still very neat? 
this is too tall no let's let's keep it with this guy over here so yeah we need a little bit of height there and then we also need like something over here oh my gosh so it's like too large um no, that's not working. Uh, we need like, I don't know, something round. Uh, let me go through the catalog like real quick. Okay, so I found this tree over here. I think it looks cute. So I placed it right here with a little bit of move objects or two <laughs> because it was floating. Um, but yeah, I think that looks really cute there. And yeah, I'm actually enjoying how this is looking. So we're definitely going to do like a pathway i don't know if the pathway needs to be like this or maybe oh no yeah maybe maybe we could we could we could do like you know a little bit of pebble pebbles going through here maybe um that's definitely something that we can do we also need to to rain paint um like these guys over here so maybe do that first so we need like a little bit of terrain underneath here and then a bit of terrain paint underneath there um i don't know if i like this color maybe go for something a bit darker yeah that's better okay and then here okay and then make the pathway go through here so i'm gonna oops <laughs> make it smaller um uh, like that and then we're gonna make it like really see-through and like do something like that so yeah so do like a little bit of a pathway up here you know make it look cute and then uh do like a little bit of this over here just so that it does look that, um, how do you call it, that flat, you know, a bit of dirt would be nice. And then I do need to deepen this a bit better again. So let's do that. Just a tiny bit deeper. And then I need to blend it yet again. Yeah, like that. So now we have our little barbecue area over here. Really cute. Definitely enjoying how this is looking. I do want some sort of a tree, like right? No. Oh no, what is that? <laughs> um, no, that is also not working for me. Um, where are my normal trees? <laughs> love the bug i love i love the the tool mod and the better build by mode but sometimes there's like too much options um yeah like that so you know we have a few different height of trees over here this definitely looks cute i like that um also am liking this i do feel that we need some sort of a pathway here so should we do like another like stepping stone situation or should i do something a little bit more controlled and grab this over here let me grab this uh, and do like a more of a controlled stepping stone and and try to curve it in a bit something like that um curving something straight is also always really hard um But yeah, we could do like something like that. So we could do like a stepping stone here. Um, should we do this though? Oh, maybe not there. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should do this, and this one can disappear, and have the edge be like there. 
that is something that we can do. And then here we can have our greenery go in. Um, let me grab my terrain brush, put this in, push this a little bit inward like so. And then we can have our greenery come in here, you, you know, some nice flowers. Um, let me unfilter that. Um, let me go into flowers. <laughs> so yeah, let me you know just a few flowers in here. Oh, we can do we can do the topiary. We could do a topiary in here. Let me see. Um, probably this one. This one looks really um, nice. I mean, we could also do these guys, but I feel like should we mm, should we have like a chicken here? <laughs> You know, it's so stupid that I like it. Okay, we're gonna have a chicken there. Um, and then, you know, just these two over here. Maybe downscale them a little bit. So this is like our little topiary area. Right there, you know, with our uh, our bushes. We could definitely do that. Or we could say like, nope. I want a dog over here. And a cat over there or something. And then grab some flowers in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I like it. I also squared this off so that it doesn't have like this pointy thing over here. And yeah, I think this looks really cute. This is definitely coming along. Uh, <laughs> is it looking weird? Maybe, but you know, it, it all needs to tie in together in the end and it's gonna look really nice. I promise it's not gonna be weird. Although maybe it is and then we're gonna change it. That is the whole fun about, um, you know, these builds. Um, yeah, anyway, oh, I had, that's that's also something that I wanted to do. I really wanted to add in a little bit of um, wisteria. So let's have it grow like that. Uh, maybe like that as well. You know, just a little bit of greenery would be really nice. So I think I would like you to come here and then curve you up there. And then uh, maybe have this go here. I don't... It's definitely looking... We should probably do like a window over here. Like a nice window. Because we don't have any natural light really here. Although do we need, do we need natural light here? Maybe not. Maybe we don't need a window there. Um, maybe just do like... Uh, greenery or what is it called uh ivy let's do let's do ivy let's go up here uh, and then have it come like that yeah that is actually very nice looking i like that uh, here we have our chicken <laughs> i'm gonna keep the chicken uh, just because i like the chicken and then we're gonna do like wooden over here and you know probably wood here as well just to keep it more of a rustic look um i think is really nice um yeah this could be glass again i like it so for here we're probably gonna do like the same rocks just to make it look a bit better so i think feel I'm gonna push it here and then I'm gonna oops no Mona I'm gonna select it elevate it and do like minus one again and just see where we land so that's actually not bad um, you know what no that's actually not bad we do have like a little gap here and here but that is not uh oops that is not something that we cannot work around so we could do like this one over here i mean can i can i uh have this one and place you there oh no that's like floating why does all debug items really like debug always likes to float i mean i can make it go in the ground but this is annoying um no that's not what i wanted minus zero four uh elevate 
minus 0, 2. Again, not enough. Minus 0, 2 again. Yeah, now it's touching the ground, so let's unselect that and do that there. Yeah, okay, that's better. This one is also not touching the ground. <laughs> uh, minus 0, 4. Yeah, and now it's touching the ground again. So a lot of tool usage in this episode, but I feel that we actually do need it. Um, there's just so much floating going on. So that's actually really annoying. But uh, and, I mean, I do understand why stuff is floating. I am using the move, um, the two, the, oh my God, the terrain tool. So I do understand why stuff is floating, but I still don't like that it's floating. So yeah, um, just adding in some flowers, some greenery. Let's go for the white. I don't know. No, purple. Purple's nice. So yeah, so we have our little section over here. We have a little walkway there. Uh, maybe grab this guy, push it in here. And yeah, I am happy. I am definitely happy with uh, what we've done so far. Um, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I definitely wasn't planning on doing a greenhouse today. It just kind of happened. So we still have this space over here for our animal farm, which is good enough for two barns, a cow and a llama. I mean... We could even fit in more if we are gonna do like the tool, the the tool sheet here. We could do like one, two, three. Um, I probably want them to face here. Like two cows there and then a llama over here or something. Um, yeah, yeah, that is probably what we're gonna go for. Um, well, two cows and a llama, and then we're gonna use the cheat to downscale them and build our own building around it. I mean, that is what I want, but let me again know in the comments down below. Very important that you do because I'm kind of on on the size if it comes to that so i do oh yeah a nice large door over here would be lovely and i think we have our balcony here right yeah we do so we need like nice large windows and place them over here although hmm, do they work do these i don't think these work maybe have like one two of them there and then let's see, how can I make this work? Let me grab, Ooh, oh, we haven't used these guys. Ah, we could do like lanterns in front. Although maybe it looks a little bit weird. <laughs> Wait, no. I need to think about this little section over here because I do like the idea of a barn door, but I do see that, uh, the door, the door is too big. <laughs> the door is too big over here. So maybe we couldn't, we can't do that and do something else over here. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave this episode here. Hopefully enjoyed, you enjoyed me, you know, creating this little section there and doing the landscaping and such. The next episode, we're definitely focusing on uh, the chicken coop section. And if I have your feedback back, we're gonna focus focus on the animal sheds as well so and then of course a bit of the front because this this is you know we need to do something here and here and yeah we need to focus on a lot of things but yeah let me again leave your comments and feedback down below and then i'm gonna implement them in the next episode but yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one bye bye